Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. Hi. It was minus four degrees outside last night, so I'm out here in my nice big fluffy. It's really still very cold, but you probably noticed you're indoors behind my double glazing and you can still hear me. And that's because I'm using a wireless microphone. But this is no ordinary microphone for uh, wireless use. This is actually a shotgun microphone. The microphone comes in its own box with its manual and of course the microphone itself. The microphone's got its own gain on the back. There's a clip for your camera, but it doesn't slide like the Deity ones do. There's a nice little receiver which also has a gain control on it, up to 12 dB, which is quite handy for those cameras that make a lot of noise, and a clip for a boom stand or whatever. In the back there, there is a, a wind muff, of course, which is quite nice. It works well too. A foamy, and then the leads that you need. And this one is a USB to C lead to a USB for a recording, and also you can charge, but it's a very long lead, which is handy for computers and a lead for phones and camera. Nice thing about this microphone is you can up and down the gain on the back of the microphone itself. And um, when you turn the camera on, the mic comes on. When you turn the camera off, the mic goes off. So it's pretty good and it's very directional. There's a lot of traffic going on at the left at the moment. This is actually the rush hour. So there's a lot of traffic. It's blooming cold, but anyway, not to worry. Now this is the front. If I go around to 90 degrees, going down to its null point if it is a really directional microphone a bit more than 90 degrees on the back end and then this is the back end now I'm on the back and uh, still about a meter away if you want to talk into the microphone from the rear that's what it would sound like it might be a little bit muffled this is to the other side at 90 degrees and I'm back round to the front again just in case it sounds any different this is the sound of the microphone with the 75 cut in the bass hopefully to take a bit of that rumble away and I can go a bit higher as well this is the sound of the microphone with 150 cut now so it's 150 Hertz and hopefully that's taken even more of the traffic out actually it's probably taken a little bit more out because the traffic is now sort of off to the rear and the side of the microphone and that's it's probably its dead spot but this is with the 150 Hertz cut and now this is the microphone with a treble boost Unfortunately, you can't put the bass cut and the treble boost on at the same time, they're, they're separate. But um, you can at least up the treble if you're going to use a dead cut on the top there and it's perhaps a bit muffled, so it might clean it up a bit for you, a bit less to do in post, but that's the sound with the treble boosted. There's a really nice sunset going on at the moment down the back of the garden, it's quite nice. Sometimes, just because you haven't got a choice, you have to use the microphone on the camera and uh, if someone is you're recording across the road or something like the wife suddenly come out of a shop and you want to catch the shot you've got no choice so you have to use it at long distance and this is what it sounds like at the moment we've got quite a bit of traffic noise it's quite windy and so i put the fluffy on top and i've upped the treble slightly to compensate for the fluffy so hopefully you're getting at least some audio that you can understand at a distance and this is probably the equivalent of being on the other side of the road, something like that. Of course, the sensible thing is to get the microphone off of the camera and get it close to your target. But if you do that, you're going to get much, much better audio. Actually, while I'm out here, this is a good test for this microphone in the wind. And as you can see, I've got the fluffy on. And it's not too fluffy. It's not too conspicuous, actually. It's quite, it's quite a nice little package. It's quite a small microphone, in fact, but it is quite windy. Last night, we had 80 miles an hour wind and we've got the end of it coming in now and it's not very nice it's cold and it's pushing a lot of wind at the moment so this is just in a in normal sort of windy conditions the sort of conditions that you might get um perhaps on a beach and there's a nice big blast there and it's cold it's really cold that's why i'm wearing my fluffy i'm going to hold it out into the wind To be honest, if that is working okay, this is about the equivalent of being on the beach, I think, so it's not bad. Outside, a microphone's got a very difficult job to do in that it's got to reject all the sounds around it, pick up the sound in front of it, and also it's got to reject the sound of the wind hitting the microphone itself. So it has a pretty difficult job to do outside, especially when you're further away from the microphone. Indoors, the job is slightly different. There is no wind, but unfortunately, there's an acoustic 
and microphones do pick up acoustics. So with my voice at the moment, you're probably picking up the acoustic of this room, which isn't good, but that's the way so many people will want to use a microphone. They put it on top of the camera, get it on there because it's convenient, face it towards your speaker and off you go, you get your video. Sometimes that's nice, you want the acoustic of the room, it adds to your video maybe, it adds to the atmosphere of your video. It's done quite often to do that, but sometimes you want to get it close. The only option you have then is to trail a wire over here, hold the microphone close, but with this one, you don't need a wire. So this is really the answer. If you want good audio, get the microphone close to your speaker, and that's what I'm doing. But no wire because this is wireless, and that's the convenience of this microphone. Now, sometimes you don't want to see the microphone in shot, so you might want to put it out of shot. So I'm going to look in my screen, and now what I'm doing is I'm talking into the microphone, but uh, it's actually about two feet away from me, which is better than being on the camera, but it's below my level of shot here so if it's out of shot you don't see it and that's one way that you can try to avoid reflections in your room another way that microphones like this could be used is to boom it where you put it up there just out of shot <coughs> let's see if i can there we are it's just there so this is what the thing would sound like if it was boomed that's with a 75 hertz cut that's hopefully going to take a bit of the bass away maybe hopefully not too much from my voice uh, because it's below my voice going up a bit to 150 hertz i've now switched it to 150 hertz it might now be cutting into my voice this is useful though if you've got a lot of wind outside or if you're trying to cut the noise of traffic or rumbling around you that can be very very useful okay now the sound should be a little bit lighter so you've got uh, a, a lot more up top so that's the comica vm30 microphone so to finish, I'm making the video here on my computer while I'm making the video over there on my camera. Um, saves a little bit of time for me. And you've probably noticed now I'm in the kitchen, a very, very poor environment. So you can hear what this thing sounds like in a poor environment, even in a corner. My feelings on this microphone is that it's not a bad microphone at all. Please remember, I'm not trying to sell anyone a microphone or make you be convinced that this is the best microphone in the world. I never do that with the reviews that I do. I'm just showing the gear and how it can be used. And when I test the gear, I try to test it in as normal a condition as possible where I just go out with a camera and I want to film something and I just use the product and that's it. I'm not trying to show this product at its best. In other words, I'm not in a treated room at the moment. I think the coverage around the microphone is slightly uneven. It's more trebly on one side than it is on the other. Now, that might be just my microphone, I don't know, but um, for, in, for all intents and purposes, that's not gonna show when you're out and about videoing, it really won't show. But um, the basic sound, I think, of the microphone is quite good. It's certainly directional, so it's going to cut out noise around you, which is a great thing. The rejection of noise for a shotgun microphone, I think, as well, is very good. Very, really good. I found that very good because when I went out into the back garden there, um, it was really very windy. So this thing did reject it pretty well. I thought it did a good job there. In fact, when I held it up, I held it up and faced right into where the wind was coming from. So uh, that surprised me. It did so well at that with that, um, that cover on. So I think the microphone itself is a basically is a good microphone. It's a very nice microphone. Sounds okay. A little bit noisy for me, um, but that's only if you want to do something like a studio thing, you might notice it perhaps dead easy to get rid of anyway. Outside you would never notice, but uh, that noise figure of 75, I prefer it to be closer to 80 if possible, which is why I use it. I use often a very expensive mic upstairs if I have to make anything sort of official where I want really quiet audio with no hiss. But basically, it's a robust microphone. It works nicely. I really like the fact that it's got a treble boost. The treble boost for my voice works really well. It might not work as well for your voice. It really does depend on the way you speak. It may be the way I speak and my, my voice just sounds like I've got my face in a pillow all the time and microphones seem to bring that out beautifully. Um, this one doesn't when I up the treble a bit and normally in post I would up the treble. So I think I would use it with the treble up for my voice. 
If, if you were going to get something like this, though, I would try that out first and, and see what it sounds like with your voice in different situations, in different places, because obviously different rooms work in a different way. And certainly in a kitchen, it might em emphasise the treble a little bit more with all the reflections that are going on in here. So I do like that. The other thing I really like is, of course, it's wireless. There are no wires between me and that camera. So no one can come in in the house, whatever, and trample all over it. I also like the fact that for a shotgun microphone, it's actually not very long. It's not a long thing. So if you take this outside and there are people around, it doesn't look so intimidating and perhaps wouldn't attract as much interest as a, a huge sort of proper shotgun would. It's not that big, really. And um, it's got quite, for a shotgun, it's quite a low profile. So it works nicely on the camera. It looks okay. I've, got, I've had it on top of this. This is, I'm using an AX53 at the moment. And it looks fine on top of that. It looks really good. In fact, one of the neighbours who saw me filming thought it looked really cool. So I looked like a real film crew person, apparently. So um, it's, it's got a good look about it. I love the fact that you can adjust the volume on the back of the microphone. It's a sliding scale. You can see immediately on your screen if you're over modulating, under modulating. I'm just checking now on mine and I can see uh, I haven't got it set that high, but it's OK. It's, it's fine. So there's an easy way to adjust the volume on the fly. That's really useful when you're in a hurry rather than going through menus. Just set your, your, uh, your camera up with a volume control on your camera and then up and down the volume according to what you're filming or videoing. Um, on the fly. It's quick to use and I really like that a lot. The wireless connection is fairly good. I've been upstairs with it and downstairs and walked around the house and it has worked fine but having said that I have been outside as well and if I turn my back to the camera my body will shield the signal and it can cut off at um, fairly shortish kinds of distances but it soon comes back when you turn around and then if you're further away it actually works quite a long way away but no one in their right minds wants to film themselves miles and miles away because um it wouldn't sound natural anyway you know if you're um 200 yards away and your voice is like in a studio it doesn't look and sound natural they don't match so i'm not a fan of doing that anyway um and i think this is a, a versatile package you can use it as a desk microphone, as I am now, boomed, handheld, on the camera, wireless or wired, whatever you want. So it's a very nice package. And um, I quite like it, actually. I didn't think I would, but um, I, don't, I don't think it's too bad. It's the convenience that I really like. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. I haven't made one for quite some time because health and all that sort of thing. been looking after myself and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers for now. Mm -hmm.